So I would uh, I'd first like to start by welcoming all of you here. I look forward to the magic you're going to create. I thought that was a great story, Joe. So uh, I'll go ahead and get started. I'm here with two hats on uh, tonight. The primary hat that I am wearing is as a, a Lean Construction Institute board member. Um, I'll give you a little bit of, of background as we go through a couple of slides. But I, I joined the board uh, this past January, so I'm a newbie uh, in this arena. But a number of us. Uh, went to uh, a lean construction conference, talked to a number of other owners in the states last year, and really found some fellow travelers that were equally dissatisfied with uh, how construction and getting capital assets um, were put in place. And so we, we have joined as Intel um, that journey of trying to enable an industry to get better and make magic happen, as Joe talked about. My second, my second hat that I'm wearing tonight, which I'll do just a little of, um, is as a member of Intel. And what really drove us to get involved with the lean uh, journey in, in this business. <clears throat> the way I'm going to tell that story is we had a video uh, that we created. Some of you might have seen it, most I'm sure have not. Um, but it's a video we created for an internal audience of what we're trying to do and why. So it tries to connect what is the challenges that we face as a company, Intel, what are the challenges that we face as a construction business, and what's really our burning platform. And I'll talk about that in the video uh, in a little bit. But it's a, it's a very brief video. Folks are w willing to uh, share it with you. Uh, but it, it tells our story of why we're trying to make a difference in the, in the industry. <clears throat> Go ahead, John. So again, uh, I'm going to start briefly and go through what, what is LCI. Uh, as John mentioned at the beginning, it's a, it's a nonprofit group. It's a US-centric group. Our intent is to stay a US-centric group, but we want to share any knowledge that we have uh, and try to, uh, to enable anybody who's interested in joining the journey, becoming a fellow traveler uh, around how we can apply lean principles to construction. And that's what we're here uh, to do tonight. So I'll tell you a little bit about some of the programs that we have uh, launched uh, for 2014, and then we'll, we'll spend a bit of time through that video explaining how Intel got involved in this journey and what our uh, burning platform is. And then John wants to make sure that I officially, at the end, launch the community of practice. So I'll say that a couple of times to make sure that we, uh, we get that message across. Go ahead, John. Uh, so as I said, um, we're probably in our second decade now um, as a as a nonprofit group in the U.S. And again, it's companies, uh, owners, uh, contractors, uh, designers that are all trying to band together to say there has to be a better way to go do this. There's just so much waste and so much uh, headbutting that goes on in the construction business that we have to find a better way to go uh, do that. We're trying to take, as Joe talked about, uh, tried and true methods of how you can do things better. How can you track things? How can you uh, figure out how to continuously improve? We've, we've learned that from Toyota uh, over the last number of decades, and we're trying to apply that to construction. Uh, as John mentioned, we're trying to transform the industry. We're trying to create a common language. Uh, one of the things that's fascinating as I travel around the world is so many people who are in the business with us talk past each other, and I'm sure you've never had that experience uh, in any companies that you deal with or any people that you're uh, having dialogue or are doing project work for. Uh, but we can create a common language of how we can get better together, how we can get common goals, uh, how we can move the action forward. <clears throat> for us as an institute, uh, we have about a, a hundred corporate members in the U.S. We've also got about 600 individual uh, people who are uh, involved with us that are outside of specific uh, companies that are really just there to try to go learn. We've got goals. We're, we're trying to expand and, and reach out to other owners, to reach out to other parts of the, the globe. So that's, I'm excited to be here. I wasn't planning to, to have an event like this. So again, thank you folks for, for being here. I was doing a regular site visit with our team in, in Ireland, but it's a fantastic opportunity to try to get this kick started and get folks, uh, as John talked about, to learn from each other. Go ahead. So our mission is to transform, and I think transform is a key word um, there because we're not after incremental improvement. We're not, uh, even though the, all of the changes will be small uh, incremental improvements. The, the summation of that can be pretty vast. And I really believe that we can transform this industry. And what I mean by transforming is a 30% increase or a 50% increase 
um, in our output. And you can measure output however you want to, or you could measure it as uh, less people time that has to go into getting capital assets uh, put in place. We have that much waste that is in the, the integrated part of our overall supply chain. So we've got the opportunity to make radical shifts in the way we deliver capital assets out to the marketplace. Uh, and the lean approach is really, uh, I think all about taking waste out of the system. And again, the, the way the construction business has evolved over the last 40, 50 years, and Joe talked about the, the lack of improvement, is there's a lot of technology advantages, there are a lot of different things that we uh, can do, but the construction industry is so fragmented and there's so many people in that supply chain and they're not all choosing to work together. And it really is a choice of how do we band together, how do we get common goals, uh, et cetera. Go ahead, John. So what's our goals for 2014? It's really to create demand. So I'm, again, thrilled to have this number of people who are here to see whether you'll be, as John said, a spectator, a participant, a leader, a driver, whatever role you choose to play, you're here to try to see can we go make a difference and can we work together uh, to go do something uh, different. We want to develop knowledge. We want to create industry capacity. So we are, are in the U.S. very... Uh, involved with research. We were very involved with the education uh, system in the U.S. to say how can we, uh, again, reach out and, and try to do this in a different way. And we're also then trying to figure out how can we get the message out to folks. So this is an example of getting the message out to folks, but we want to uh, use all and any methods that we can. Go ahead. A couple of major programs. So we have an annual, uh, co what we call Congress, uh, that is in the U.S. this year will be in San Francisco in the fall. Last year, as a company, until we took uh, eight or ten folks to that, and it was a company-changing experience because we got an opportunity for a couple of days to go network with a lot of other owners, a lot of contractors, really understand what's possible that's being done in the industry. Much of what has been uh, done in lean construction, at least in the U.S., is happening on the West Coast. It's happening in the hospital segment. It's actually happening uh, with a couple of folks in the entertainment business. Disney is a company you've all have heard of, is a leader in our eyes, one of the, our teachers of, of uh, how we can go down a lean construction journey. Interestingly, uh, uh, making semiconductors and having uh, entertainment rides doesn't have a whole lot in common. Why do you think we're learning a lot from Disney? Anybody got a guess? Audience participation moment. They change, they change their products regularly. What else? What else would be common with semiconductors and... Consumer demand. Pardon me? Consumer, consumer demand. So they, have, they are largely driven by consumer demand. Their, their production time is shrinking. What else? They have, they have very, very uh, people that are constantly making change. What else? Pardon me? Yeah, they, we both construct stuff, so if, you, if you've ever been to a, a Disney park, they've got an awful lot of hardware. Once you crawl under the hood and actually go in, I've had a chance to visit a number of the Disney facilities. They've got a lot of hardware in there. So there's one other key thing that, that Disney has in common with us. Time to market? Uh, not time to, time to market. It's kind of the, the that, is, that is a variable, but that's not the one I'm thinking of. What else? They, they're international. That's a good one. They can't keep charging more for their increased complexity of their rides. So they have a finite amount of money that people will pay to do stuff, but what they need to have is increasingly cool attractions that have people want to come uh, do that. So they've got a technology uh, increase, complexity increase, same as Intel does, and same dilemma that we have is they can't keep charging more for that. So they got to figure out how to structurally go change what they do. So it's been fascinating for me to learn so much from a company that I would have viewed had so little in common uh, with us. So again, that's part of the, the fellow travelers. Uh, so we have that uh, conference in the fall. We have a design forum that will be in the Midwest part of the U.S. in June. We have a couple of other forums that we co-sponsor. Uh, we have community of practices. We have about 25 across uh, the country, about four or 5,000 people that are involved in those. And that's, again, what we are trying to start here is not all of the folks here may choose to participate moving forward, but we're really trying to get ground level. Uh, how do we go do stuff in a region of the country or region of the world? And again, very excited to have you folks here uh, tonight. We. Uh, are very clear that the problem has started with us and that we have to first change ourselves and listen to feedback. 
Um, and we are then trying to find business partners who are on a journey with us to go figure out how to take waste out of the system, how to keep getting better at what we do. Go ahead, John. Oh, keep going a little bit. There we go. So as, as, as you saw in the video, and I think listening to, to Joe, he gave a, a great story of some of his journeys uh, here in, in Ireland over the last couple of decades. But we're very committed as a company uh, to, to lean manufacturing, to productivity uh, as the foundation of that. We are uh, uh, also committed to, with other partners, changing the, the construction business. We are not naive that we can do it by ourselves by any stretch of the imagination. We're out looking for fellow travelers and owners, fellow travelers in, in folks that are in the delivery end, people are in the design end, um, and together we believe we can change that. The LCI mission really aligns to what we're trying to do as a company, which is why I joined the board, why we're spending the time and energy with folks like yourself trying to, to say, how can we kickstart this? How can we work together to do something better than we know how to do today? Uh, we believe community of practices is a key way to go uh, do that. You're gonna hear a, a little bit about a, a community of practice uh, in the northeast part of, of the US. Uh, glad to have you here with us tonight. He can he can share that journey that he's been on and has uh, seen that work. We are involved in in several of our major sites in the U.S. and community practices. Well, obviously, very very engaged in the one here as uh, well. And as a board member, our intent is to sp sponsor you, uh, enable you, help you get started. Um, but we really don't want to try to in any way, shape, or form manage. Uh, anybody internationally. As John said at the outset, our intent would be to share, to, to help in any way that we can, but our, our collective vision ought to be that this can be something that the Irish community can take on board and do at a national level, and that's what we would want to see uh, any community of practice do uh, in any country. Go ahead, John. And so let's change the industry together. Again, be collaborative, uh, be integrators, be innovators, and uh, learners. So with that, I'll, I'll uh, do one other statement, and then I'll, I'll do John's political, uh, paid political announcement that we're officially launching the COP. Um, uh, but, but Bob Noyce, who was one of the founders of, of Intel uh, probably 30 or 40 years ago, had a, a quote that I, th I still uh, makes me tear up. Maybe it's been at Intel too long. Um, but but it's, uh, don't be encumbered by the past. Go off and do something wonderful. So together, we got the opportunity to go off and do something wonderful. Would ask you to join us in that uh, journey. And with that, I declare.